welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be um, a different video I've never done one like this before but I'm actually um, I'm gonna take you guys along with me and someone had asked me how do I find the right shade you know for like you know when you buy a foundation a drugstore foundation they have a um, pretty good selection and variety of colors but how do I find you know my color and here's what I do and and I actually haven't done this for a while because I haven't bought a drugstore foundation in quite some time because I've been using my Mac but um, I decided to bring my Mac Matchmaster um, foundation you will find this at Mac maybe some of you guys use it but I'm in the color 1.0 that's how you say it and it's a pretty pretty um, light color so anyways I'm gonna bring this along with me and I just came to Rite Aid and I want to buy my foundation at Rite Aid um, I don't know what what brand I want to get just yet so I'm gonna take this off with me and I'm gonna actually compare it and try to see what the the one closest to this color is so if you want to try and see if this way works for me maybe you can try this for yourself as well okay so I'm at Rite Aid and I'm actually really interested in trying this one the Neutrogena Healthy Skin but at the same time I don't know I'm not sure if I want this one just yet but let's go see let's go see what other foundations I can choose from Okay, so if you guys haven't tried Wet n Wild's lipsticks, I'm going to probably grab a few more. They're only $1.99, so I'm loving that. I'm going to grab my makeup, and I'm just going to go alongside. See, these look too dark. These are like true beige. Looks too dark. So I'm going to go back up. I don't know what color that is, but if we see, that's a little bit dark. And I think this one... These might match it a little better. So I'm probably in nude or natural beige or medium beige. I don't know, but I still have to pick combination oily skin. And then you have the normal to dry skin. So I think I'm gonna do one of these. So this is probably an easier way. So let's see. That's actually too too bright. I think I'm probably gonna be this golden beige. So that's kind of the best way for me to pick out my foundation. Actually it looks a little bit darker in the store too. So I think I'm gonna be maybe not no see this looks way too white. This one looks too white. How about fresh beige? This one looks a little bit white too. So this is probably one, this is probably the easiest way for me to figure out drugstore, <laughs> a way to pick out my drugstore foundation color. So let's see. Oh, I think this one's really close. So what color is that? Golden beige. Yep. I think that might be it. Let's see. Why? Oh, that's the same one. See this one right here kind of looks a little bit darker. Looks different in person. So if say I were to grab this one right here, like toast or something or golden caramel, that's way too dark. So I'm just gonna let my MAC Match Master be the color I look for because this is the color that I am right now in the winter time too. I just got out of Rite Aid and I'm gonna do a quick car haul for you guys if you guys are interested in that. I, so I decided from doing my foundation swap, um, ah, where is that? Where is that? Darn it. Where's my, okay. So from this one, I kind of, I don't know if you can see that the, if it's going to show it to you, but this was very, very close. And I actually remember using this, um, this is Maybelline's uh, Superstay Makeup. I really, really love this one. This one's really nice. So, and this was, um, I think this was $10. So, definitely gonna be using this one on my day, on a daily basis and this one, more for like going out, um, you know, just depending on the occasion. So, so I got this, that's how I matched it up. 
and I was also interested in trying the Maybelline Fit foundation um, I'll probably be doing a review on this or like you know how it how you know how it feels I haven't opened it yet so I'll do a review on that for you guys if you're interested so I hope I got the right color so I'll do that and then I also got darn it you freaking loud thing I got two lip colors from wet and wild I'm trying to collect all of theirs so this one is in the color bear it all so it's kind of like a nude and then I got uh, this, this is actually really bright. I don't even know if I'm gonna like this one. But um, this one's in cherry picking. So that's all I got. So I'm gonna hopefully do a, a review on this and I'll do a foundation routine with this one. So yeah, keep on the lookout for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed my small Rite Aid haul. And I'll, um, also I really hope that this kind of helps you guys, this little idea taking your, um, one of your actual favorite foundation colors and kind of matching them at the store okay and just be careful when you're putting it back in the purse because they'll probably think you're putting one of their products in the purse when you're not but uh yeah so i did this this kind of helped a little bit more or less because sometimes unless if you can't open it but see that's just the color it is and i know this one will match me and yeah so thanks for coming along on my ride aid shopping I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everyone.